What's up guys, Anthony here with DIY Auto Tech. Today we're looking at the uh, new, this is the 2020 Coleman CT200 mini bike with the Heisen 196cc motor. Mods wise, little extensive mods here. We've obviously got Pro Taper grips, Honda Donuts. Uh, I did modify the governor. So look out for a little cell phone clip at the end of this video for that. So I modified the governor. I did not have to take the engine apart to disable the governor, which is awesome. You're gonna wanna see how I did that. And then we have a, a stage one power kit from gopowersports.com that comes with the uh, intake, the nylon cover, the adapter to the carburetor with a little top plate. And then it also comes with a 0.38 uh, larger main jet. And then we have 18 pound uh, extra power uh, valve springs that are in there with the header and muffler so I put that kit on there as well and with everything here I definitely increased the performance the sound and the top speed of this bike so we're going to show you some of those things today on this ride so let's get to it With the Go Power Sports kit, it starts right up. It's a little bit louder now, obviously, a little more throaty. And with the, thro the governor removed, we're well, not removed, but disabled, uh, we get a great top speed now. top speed because uh, with that governor removed with that governor removed there's no real top speed on this bike uh, it's RPM limited by how long I want to stay on the throttle so theoretically the top speed is where I can't grenade the motor <laughs> but uh, with this governor bypass the throttle is no longer twitchy um, it's super smooth a whole lot better now so I mean it feels like it's got double the power and I'm just cruising it to warm it up here but we'll pull the GPS out later and do a little speed run
gonna do another little run here. I'm gonna tuck for this one. miles an hour 39 miles an hour so I'll call that 40 and uh, yeah not too bad so trip history so yeah so 40 miles an hour and I could have gone further so not not too shabby I think the original top speed was 18 on this thing so pretty cool stuff with the bigger sprocket I'm sure this thing would just freaking fire off and that is a stock carb, so I could probably give it more fuel had, uh, had I had the old school Coleman carb or the one from Go Power Sports, I could have probably adjust that to give it more fuel on the top end and I'd probably get another easy couple miles an hour out of it. So, All right guys, Anthony here from DIY Auto Tech. We're playing with the Coleman mini bike. A couple little mods here. One of them being the Governor Bypass without having to go into the motor. So this is with the stock Hyasung 196cc motor. We're gonna bypass the governor. So, what happens on this bike is, this is the mod fully set up. However, normally this governor here is in the motor and your carburetor is connected by a spring. So when you pull the throttle, the throttle opens in the carburetor. And as you speed up, the governor will then pull the throttle back and throttle you back. That's how this system works, okay? So I have hardwired the throttle in here, or the throttle cable, by cable used to come over here. It now wraps along the back side of the tank, screws in here. I use the stock throttle spring. As you can see here, a little crimp connector. I connected the throttle cable through the standard hole with the crimp connector. And then this is hooked up traditionally how it would be on the stock bike. So that's hooked up traditionally. The only thing we've removed is that old throttle spring that used to sit in this little center hole right there. And it used to sit under the throttle connection piece. So what's nice about this is I can pull the throttle wide open and the bike is wide open, but it also springs back to idle once there's vacuum on the motor. That'll go back to idle. So I don't need to have a return spring anywhere like you see on the Predator motors that when people modify them. So this is a great little trick that will allow you to go wide open throttle, governor bypass, without having to add an additional spring on this side here. So this is a great little trick. This is the first version of the mod that I've seen on Hyasung 196. And just to keep you updated, I'll be filming a formal video because I did buy a stage one kit for this motor. So we're going to get a uh, exhaust pipe with a muffler, an intake, and a jet for this carb. So uh, that should propel this bike up to around double the top speed after the governor bypass and all that. So uh, one other note is the fan shroud in here is plastic, so we might want to replace that at some point uh, because they don't hold up very well over say 5,500 RPM, so. All right, that's a quick down and dirty, just to show you that one more time. Out of it, so. Uh, good stuff, this has been another video from here at Anthony at Auto Tech. Like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.